What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Late Morning Show. My name's Joel. This is Adam. Yo. And that is Steven over there on the board. Dude, today we're talking about the death of Twitch RIP. Yeah, the inevitable, the still too late, and I still don't think this will kill it. They've um, made a lot of mistakes. Everybody knows. And now <laughs> I think it's starting to catch up to them, and they've kind of, they're, they're biting off a little more than they can chew. I the mean, hand that's feeding them is getting bitten. Getting rid of hosting, saying that it's like bad for viewership, which, dude, that's not. I don't understand. <laughs> and then the whole like revenue split is changed. Oh, that's the biggest thing, dude. I mean, that is just like, what are we doing? Yeah. So, already, they're already in hot water as far as banning specific people and not banning specific people or suspending accounts and not sp suspending accounts. Yeah. And then they do this whole thing. Like, th th this, it's just, I've never seen a company that caters to such a young demographic be so out of touch. I mean, dude, even going back to banning Dr. Disrespect and not telling him why, or I mean, if they yeah. even told him, maybe they told Dr. Disrespect and he didn't want to come clean with it. But like, the fact that that happened and then they didn't say why they banned him or whatever happened, like, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. That was like one of the biggest streamers on your platform. Yeah, and they've been really suspect with their their ban times and who they ban. Like, they're odd, they're weird, biased towards just chatting streamers, not really being punished for what they're doing. Like, granted, I know they're bringing in a lot of money for Twitch, I'm sure, but like, that's a little egregious. Yeah. And the uh, the the newest thing with like the whole just chatting, you're talking about that, like you know, a girl shows her boob accidentally and gets banned for a week. A girl had sex on stream <laughs> and was banned for seven days. What the f is happening to our universe? Uh, that, that's a right decision. <laughs> that's a really good decision. Okay, well, yeah. depends on who you ask. Personally, I think we should have more sex on Twitch. Hey, yep. Okay. Go ahead and say. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, let it out. What is Twitch doing? Like sex sells. Just let yeah, it all it hang out. What is this, Game of Thrones? Anyway. <laughs> So if you guys don't know what the 70-30 split, let's get back to that. That yeah. is the biggest news. They tweeted out saying that they are going to be getting rid of the 70-30, which was only grandfathered into a couple of streamers that were like, you know, getting a ton of viewership and like really the showcasing guys. the platform. Yeah, like XQC, I'm sure has it. Like all these people. But when they signed their partner deal, they had to sign an NDA saying that they were not allowed to talk about it and, and say that they're getting 70-30. So 70% goes to the streamer. 30% goes to Twitch. But now, it's as of little... June 1st, 2023, they're just doing 50-50 across the board. Which, I mean, cool. I mean, sure. 50-50 yeah. is a little... It's. I feel like it's. it should have been 70-30 because, I mean, Twitch is doing nothing. And Literally. they're getting a percentage of these people's revenue. And their excuse for flipping it to 50-50 being the Amazon servers are too expensive <laughs> as they're owned by Amazon oh, and it's as their sister company is the Amazon web service. Yeah, and like just, that's their sister company. <laughs> and just like that has never been an issue yeah. for them. And now they're gonna take twenty percent back from all creators. Yep. So if you make so for the next year or what or whatever, June first, twenty twenty three, if you are grandfathered in, you can still keep the seventy thirty until June first, unless you make over a hundred k, which that, all the people who are that. making Dude, the seventy thirty split are doing anyways, because yeah. the people that got that agreement are the ones that were big enough to get the agreement. So like right. they're all already making, <laughs> so they over, probably got well cut over a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> they're all cut off. I'm wondering who has gotten cut off already. I'm sure XCC. Like that's such I'm a sure. weird threshold. It's so dumb. It's but an arbitrary threshold is what it is. They've purposely made it that number so that they could seem better. It's like, oh, well, if you make a little bit more, then you can, you know, we're not that mean. But nobody's doing that. Yeah, if you make 100 grand, you should be fine. Yeah. Like, living-wise, like, financial-wise. So that's probably why they're saying that. But the fact is that YouTube is giving 70-30 to their creators, and they're not doing any of that. In fact, they announced this week, right after all this Twitch drama came out, that they're actually monetizing shorts, shorts. now. Which yeah. is insane. Yeah, and the I think the craziest part about it was, um, and I don't know how they're going to do this, with the copyright music. Yep. You're you still can. monetized on copyright music. So I don't know how YouTube's going to do it. I guess they're big enough to where they can just say, suck it, we're doing it. I don't know how they're going to do it. Hey, great. Yeah. Great. If they can get people, you know, a way to make more money. Yeah, YouTube is going to kill Twitch. It's a fact. Yeah. I like, read somewhere today that if, if YouTube can create a dedicated streaming homepage like Twitch's homepage, mm -hmm. it's over. It is over. That's, I That's think the only thing holding them back right I now. Think I think that is the only thing. 
that is holding them back. Yeah. And the fact that you have to like make a new thumbnail and all that stuff is kind of like if like a little rough, a little rough. Yeah, it's just a, li- a little bit hard, harder to stream on YouTube. A little bit. And it's harder to find people streaming on YouTube. Hundred percent. Because as far as I know, there's not like a really decent way to just look at all the people. You know, here's all the categories, right. and here are all the people streaming in it. Cool. They need that, I think, separate from the video platforms. Right on YouTube, it needs to be a gaming section you go into, and I, you know, I don't know if they can raid and host yet. I don't think so. No, I don't. And think And so that either. is like I've a heard. huge deal, man. I want to raid people. I want to. The reason I want to raid people is so that I can get into their community, and like that's how you become friends with other like groups. Mm-hmm. You know, like I want to. I want us to grow as a community, get more Valorant players, COD players, like yeah, like go on stream with a bunch of other streamers. Like that's that's the goal, baby. Yeah. You see Tim the Tatman playing with all these big streamers. It's like, dude, I'll do that with little streamers. The steps are are there for yeah. YouTube, and they know it. I'm sure they've always been pretty good about that kind of thing. Meanwhile, the steps for Twitch's downfall are also stacking big it's, time. It's I mean, sad. the the fact that this has happened the same time as multiple large creators getting outed for a lot of different um, interesting activities. <laughs> Is is just like the a culmination of bad news for Twitch. Some pretty big streamers. There's the harassment stuff. There's the gambling. They just got rid of gambling because another streamer apparently like stole money from a, other yeah. friends and family and is now like three hundred grand in debt. Yeah, we got some guys going going, going down for slurs. <laughs> Bunch of dropping oh, yeah. slurs. Lots of slurs. Not on stream, but getting exposed for saying them and having proof of them on different platforms. If I could tell you one thing, guys, internet has brought a great has brought great things to the world, but they can also ruin your life. Just but, uh, don't be weird. Just be a normal person. Just keep you it know? in your pants. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, yeah. What do you think, Steven? Um, I think you guys really nailed it in the head. I think it's kind of ridiculous that these companies, they get a lot of their viewerships from these creators. Like the creators are pretty much selling the platform for them. They should really be catering a lot towards the actual uh, creators instead of trying to like yeah. better monetize themselves like the, i think the 50 50 thing is ridiculous because like you guys said like youtube is going to be big it's it's another platform for these creators to get on there and then what twitch is not going to have any more creators to, right. to to have any kind of any kind of sort of revenue and the 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 excuse that um that amazon servers are getting too expensive like i can i can see both ways like it's kind of ridiculous like it's your own company like just use your own freaking resources but at the same time like right now we if you look at the greater scheme of the economy like we are kind of in a recession at this point and no, people no. are kind of struggling for money at the right now even these big companies as as crazy as it, as it seems like you, you see someone like mr beast who makes like millions and millions of dollars in a video and he struggles to break even so i can't even imagine <laughs> what these companies with billions of dollars like what they're spending and what their roi is but i i, I think it is re- like dumb to kind of take away the incentive for these creators to stay on your platform when you have a giant conglomerate like freaking YouTube kind of taking over the space. Though I think I think it is very dangerous to have all your eggs in one basket into YouTube for example. Yeah. Like as a creator we sh- like everyone should be all across all these platforms and utilizing them as like different tools not necessarily like the ends of the means, but um but yeah. the hardest thing is like growing on Twitch is very hard unless you like have it, you have friends and stuff. Yeah. So like creating a community on YouTube and then moving that over to Twitch is like the best deal. And dude, but honestly, like YouTube is just crushing it. Like, I mean, in 2023, YouTube is announcing that they're going to be adding f- uh, fan funding monetization. So basically you can get super chats before you hit YouTube partnership. Just if you had 10 subs, you could still make money versus waiting until you have a thousand. So that's pretty cool. Like. YouTube is crushing it right now. Let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think Twitch is going to die this year, couple years? Do you think it's going to die at all? Uh, yeah, let us know down in the comments what you guys think. And thanks for joining us on the Late yeah. Morning Show. This will be posted on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the YouTube on comments. YouTube. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.